Gold Rods to Gold, chapter 22. Chapter 21, we found Rogo going through his plant, finding out that the feedstock that should be flowing to the robot wasn't getting prioritized. So the, if the robot was the constraint, well then the feedstock that keeps that constraint running, that then becomes your constraint. He works the constraint, right? He goes through the plant, he walks upstream, he does everything that a manager or somebody in a plant floor should do. They roll their sleeves up, they get dirty, they go talk to the people and find out what's really going on. Through all that work, he figures out a way to get improved flow from the products that flow through the plant so that everything that can flow to the constraint is getting to the constraint. This is exactly in line with Goldrot's theory of constraint. He's been teaching us by the Socratic method all the way since chapter one, showing us time and time again how a system works, how we've got to have goals, how by having goals we can identify the constraints that prevent us from achieving those goals, and using the robot in the flow through Unico's plant that Rogo manages to, to see how we do that time and time again. How do we measure the right things? How do we know what's going on? Chapter 22, we now have good flow of the products that go through the plant. So what Rogo does is he turns to his team and says, and this is a quote, he says, I want recommendations on offloading the bottlenecks ready for our Wednesday staff meeting. So beforehand, the challenge was that raw material, the constraints weren't fully utilized. They didn't know what the constraints were. First, that was a problem. Second is, once they identified the constraints, the constraints weren't fully utilized. Now in chapter 22, the constraints are fully utilized and Rogo does what good managers and good leaders should do. He puts the challenge to his team of, I want recommendations on offloading the bottlenecks ready for our Wednesday staff meeting. Uh, and it, it begins right away on page 180. The bottlenecks are getting their parts promptly. Great, so he, he's doing all the right things. And this leads to great ideas from the team. It goes to data management. They say what we need is a simple way to show people the parts they need to treat with special attention, the ones they need to treat like gold. Again, a good idea, you'll see Goldrot doesn't follow that perfectly and it's actually something I would agree with. We'll talk about that more in other uh, discussions. But the really innovative thing that he's done is one of his team members says, hey, there's this old machine that we used to use that'll reduce the flow and be able to offload that heat treatment constraint. And the name of the machine is a Schmegma, Z-M-E-G-M-A. So again, I think we're getting a little Israeli humor from our author in this. Uh, and they've purchased it, and the team member takes Jonah down to the loading dock and shows him it's there. It's, you know, one of these classic ancient workhorse machines. But by bringing it in, they're going to increase the throughput of their whole plant, even if the per unit cost might be higher. If we know that that process step is the constraint, every unit of capacity that you add here is going to increase the economic capability of the entire plant. So your per unit economics don't just accrue at the local step, they accrue throughout the plant. And again, if the plant is the constraint for profitability at the company level, that means that that profitability accrues at the corporate level. So you get this great pass through once you know what the constraint step is by doing things to release capacity at that constraint. And the, the funny part here too is, uh, Rogo's team member says, with all the paperwork I'd have to do, it was too much trouble to sell it to us. So they even just counted that machine as scrap and gave it to them. So great, great chapter. Read the whole book. It's a great thing. Every day that you get a chance to utilize the theory of the constraints is a day that you can make the world and your own life better. Do everything you can to read, follow, and learn more about the goal.